G'day, folks. My guest today is an actor and comedian who is the co-host of the Lions Den podcast with his good friend Jason Collins. He has a hilarious uh, special on Netflix called I'm Brent Morin. And I watched him perform last night at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood and cracked up the whole room. Fantastic <laughs> performance. <laughs> Fantastic performance. Therapy with laughs, Brent, dude. <laughs> Brent Morin, welcome to Are You My Veggie Mate? Nice. Veggie Mate? Is that what this is called? Veggie Mate? It's called Veggie Mite, mate. Oh, Veggie Mite. It's called Veggie Mite. Have you ever had it before? No. It's no. heavy. It's, it's definitely got some heavy. Heft. It's yeah, got it's some heavy. heft. It's got some heft to it. Well, and mate, I like before we before go ahead, we crack her right. open, we've got to throw out to our sponsor real quick who keeps this show going. If you're an Aussie expat living in America, what's the one thing you miss more than anything? Pies. Meat pies. Aussie pies and sausages, based here in Los Angeles, California, bake their pies fresh daily and ship them to all 50 states. They've got steak pies, lamb pies, curry pies. They even have a pie called the Mighty Pull, which is braised beef with Vegemite. They even have vegan pies. That's right. I said it, vegan pies, and they taste yummy. They have sausage rolls. They have the skinny snags you get at Bunnings when you go to vote. They have Aussie desserts. They have pavlova. They have vanilla slice. And they even have lamingtons. Lamingtons. Folks, check out AussiePiesAndSausages.com today. Cheers. All right, Brent. You ready, mate? Uh, crack that thing open, mate, and give it a good give it a good look. See what tell me what you think. All it's right. good stuff, man. It really is. I've I've bottomed mine out. I've I've gone through mine. It's really? done. Oh wow. But, oh, the it should be cologne to be possible. If you could make Vegemite into a cologne, ooh. Well, it smells now, like a man. That's good. What's that? It does now, smell basically basically manly. you know it you smells should... like my dad after he plays golf. <laughs> starting to, I like it. Right, now I'm starting to like the smell of it now. Now I go strong. That's how I go. Okay. Yeah. You should go three quarters of that, half of that. Okay. Right. Use that as a gauge. I uh, put it on my All bagel. Right. On your bagel. Oh, yeah, use this as a you go half the strength of that. Basically, how much how much you got on there? Right? I'll tell you if you've got too big, dude. But uh have you ever been to Australia before? Oh yeah. I, I did a, a week of shows in Sydney and a week of shows in Melbourne and and uh loved it. Australia has a very similar uh kind of um attitude to like a New England and Boston energy, you know? So I kind of got yeah. along there. You know, like uh, people were very honest and then if you were shitty they were very honest. If you were funny <laughs> they were very honest, you know, and the girls were very aggressive. In a good way and a bad way, <laughs> you know. So I was kind of, I kind of almost felt like a, like a reunion. All right, this we, is what. Uh, I, is that okay. too much? Yeah, that, that's that'll work. That'll work. That's 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 okay. doable. We can work with that. Okay. This feels like uh, the fact that it's breakfast time and it's on a bagel. This feels like a breakfast thing, right? Well, Maybe. okay. Here's the thing with the ladies in Australia, you're not going to get Vegemite on toast after a one night stand. But if you've been <laughs> over to our house for about three days. Yeah, she may do Vegemite on toast on okay. the third day. So this is what I was sleeping you... in until two p.m. So I don't think yeah, I was. You, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no one, no one is selling. This is not fine dining, but it is in eighty percent of Australian households. Amazing. I mean, this is our bologna sandwich right here. This is our breakfast. This is what kicks it off in the morning. This is the okay. stuff that's left in the vat after they brew beer on the sides, and we put it on toast. And it's full it's of got good B one, B two, and B three. No, mate, I'm looking at this. All your vitamins for one day right now, mate. And I love it. Yeah. All right, mate. Brent, this is where Australians in America and around the world, we find out, Brent Morin, yeah. are you our veggie mate? Show us what you got there, man. Oh, Doing that. it's on. Okay. Okay. Cheers, mate. Bottoms up. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah, that's a hit. That is a hit right there. 
Can I tell you my first feeling? And I don't know if this is a good plug for Vegemite, but it reminds me of the first time I had whiskey. And I didn't like it, you know, because it just hit you. But then you build a tolerance to it, and then it becomes a thing like, you know what, I'd, I'd like a nice whiskey with my steak. I could see how this, if it's in the house, I could see me having this on toast before school, like giving me a jolt. If it was, if I was born with it, but just that's to have it we, right now, I, it was a, that's a real hit right there. <laughs> that's how Aussie kids start. We start this at about three years old, same time we start whiskey, funnily enough, and it works out all right. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. I could see this becoming a thing that I become used to. Yeah. I don't oh, know mate. if that's the addictive personality I have, but it, it definitely, it's got a it nice beats, little, it beats uh, the shit out of kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah see you like you know what else it has that kind of taste of like uh you know when like uh it's a big thing in la obviously when somebody says you know take this this shot of healthiness or this or that and then you go oh shit but then you go no it's good for me it's got that little thing in the back of my mouth that goes no this is good for me <laughs> you think that's maybe the american marketing ploy we should market this as the australian kombucha yeah, the kombucha, that's what I was thinking about. <laughs> I'd rather go with uh, Brent Morin says it tastes like his first sip of whiskey. And then it should be in parentheses, he loves whiskey now. <laughs> that should be it. So I can see the intensity of that one. Oh, wow. Th I did not My expect that, just smelling it. I did not expect that kind of tang to it. Oh, How wow, that really jolts you. It really kicks you. It's got a bit of an after hit. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> so LA is well and truly shaken out from the pandemic right now. What what changes have you found in LA since, do you think? Uh, How has this city changed? The hike up in rent, the hike up in water and power, the hike up <laughs> in all money, the uh, fact that a lot of friends left, the realization that maybe I don't have to be here spending this much, the fact that I might move to Australia and just eat Vegemite with a beautiful woman that can control me. Uh, I mean, I got a list of problems with this place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a shake up in this damn place. I can't deal with it. Right now, it's a little windy. I will say the weather's good every day, but when the weather's the same every day, I know this is going to sound like a champagne problem, but the way I grew up, you had seasons, you had things that were going on. It gets a little repetitive to the point that I don't know what Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is, you know? I like a cloudy day once in a while. I like to be able to wear more hats like this, you know? So what do you guys get up to on the Lion's Den podcast, mate? Well, Lion's Den, uh, we took a little hiatus on, uh, but uh, Jason Collings and I are very close friends. I recently directed his first special, and oh, we're cool. going out there to sell it. It's called It's uh, It's Not Me, It's You, Jason Collings special. <laughs> and we shot it in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, it should be coming out in 2024, uh, either on any one of your streaming services or independently. But we're looking at, a, you know, Peacock or Hulu or Netflix. And I directed it and he starred in it. Although it's funny, our fans for the Lions then sent us a lot of stuff. So so this I had to take down <laughs> because when dates would come over, they just thought that I lost my like my gay husband or something. <laughs> Like, like I'm a widower and I'm changing teams. <laughs> that is spooky, man. It is. How weird is that? Oh, dude. I don't, some fan made this with, <laughs> with us. Dude, do you have any hair dolls or anything like that gets sent to you as well? Jesus Christ. There's That's Jason. close. <laughs> hair dolls. That is close, man. Oh, that I got to be honest. This is my favorite when dates come over. A fan made this. The lines them, but it's me. Oh, mate, you're the you're the conqueror. Yeah, and my favorite thing is if a date comes over, I go. I just want you to know I'm extremely humble. 
and then I just keep it up in the house. <laughs> yeah, we have some very creative fans, but for anybody who watches the Lions Den, uh, the show isn't gone. It's just we were working on Jason's special. I'm writing a movie. I was supposed to do a play in New York. So there's a bunch of stuff that was going on, and we had to take a break. And Will, the other guy on the show, he he's on tour right now. So we just took a break, but we're going to come back eventually. Now. Did the writer's strike impact too much? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As a writer, it did just uh, with some scripts and stuff. I'm happy that ended and it should have, uh, the strike should have happened. And the same with the actor's strike should happen. I mean, it's just, it's actually ridiculous what we're paid, even though people think we're paid millions. Because, uh, speaking of, yes, speaking of that, yeah. um, AI in stand up, do you see AI getting into stand up in any way? Or do you, st- have you seen it already? Have you seen people try to pass off bits that you can tell? Oh, oh, like they talk to AI. You know what? I actually downloaded one of those apps out of curiosity because people were talking about that and and, uh, all the strike stuff. And I would say, uh, pitch me a movie starring Brent Morin and Ethan Hawke. And then it would pitch me something. And it was not bad. And then (laughs) then I got a little nervous. (laughs) I got nervous. But then I said, pitch me a movie starring me and a buddy of mine. And it was the same thing. So my thing is, I think AI, okay, yeah, it's terrifying. And, uh, you know, I think we're getting a little carried away with it already. It's impressive, I'll be honest. But but at the end of the day, if a writer is going to use it for the stage or to pitch a movie or TV show, I think if you're in that waiting room to pitch a TV show, you're going to be embarrassed when 10 other people who used AI are walking in with the exact same story, the same way you'll be embarrassed that multiple comics will be walking in with the same bit. Like it's AI. It's not creating original thoughts. It's using uh, particular plot notes that happens in every story ever told, you know, attack from personality, attack from personal conflict, uh, strike with a, with a resolution, you know, the middle becomes empathy and sympathy. I mean, there's just little plot yeah. points that you have in every script that you learn in film school. And uh, the originality comes from the human being. Because I, I did it for multiple people starring me. They It's freaky. It knew who I was as an actor. I didn't like the fact that it said Brent Morin stars as insecure. Uh, under that, uh, <laughs> And then I put a friend of mine who's an actor says starring alongside david sullivan brooding strong i go what the fuck does ai think about me and think about him but other than that it was a lot of the same story structure yeah so if if any writers out there and you think that that's going to steal your shit then you're just not a good writer and you're just not doing something original because it's literally going to be the same stories it's the same plot points that's all it is yeah yeah well cool that's good to hear from someone who that's a, that's the most intelligent answer I've heard of that in a while. I hope. <laughs> yeah. If you tell me you used that, if you tell me you used AI to write that answer, I'm going to be mad as shit. I'll, I'll put it this way: <laughs> AI is not going to write Oppenheimer. AI ain't going to write Memento. It ain't going to write Pulp Fiction. It ain't going to do any of that. Shit. It's not capable of that, but it is capable of story plot point. You know, three act structure, plot point one, plot point two, plot point three, and a, and a conclusion. Right. That's exactly what it can do. And so, what what would AI? Read. Say about this. It would say. Do you want to dive back in for one more bite to find out? I'll tell you what AI will say. AI. Vegemite. Chewy. (laughs) Somewhat tangy, depending on what region of the country you are from. Greasy, depending on what. Mechanic shop you live in. Mouth closed. Must eat. Do not look at woman (laughs) while chewing. Look at her and smile if she is from Australia. Say, it's good. Look back. Make sure you get it down. (laughs) Believe that it's positive with its B2, B12, and B1s. Swallow it with pride. Hold her hand and take her to the park. Vegemite, available anywhere in Australia. That's what I would say. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Brent, <laughs> mate, you're a, you're an honorary Australian after that, after going back that. in twice. I'll tell you that much right now. It's starting to grow on you like that 12-year-old bottle of Glen Liver. I'm not kidding, dude. You. That actually was a lot easier than the first time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> mate, um, where, where can people watch catch your comedy these days? 
Well, I got a couple specials on Netflix and uh, I'm getting ready to uh, I'm working on my new special. I don't know if it's going to be on Netflix, might be on Amazon or somewhere else. But uh, I got quite a few things that I'm working on and uh, they can go to brentmorn.com. I'm going to be announcing some big things in a few months, like a big tour and a big special and actually something else that. uh, It's kind of a mix between stand up and Black Mirror. It's going to be a crazy thing. That's the, all I'll give away, and I think people are going to dig it. Mate, I'm working on it right now. Big project, though. I, I think you've come out pro Vegemite in the end. I really do think <laughs> yeah. you have. I know you were worried about it last night. You were like, "Oh, this is." Can I try it and taste? Well, you kept teasing it, like it. you're like, "No, no, you wait." And then when I wrote you, <laughs> I, "Do I refrigerate this last night?" You go, oh, "Leave it out. It could stay there for years." I'm like, "Okay, Dude, man." You have a decade supply of Vegemite right now, and Vegemite mate, in, with you right now. <laughs> now, like, um, something weird, folks. If you if you want to see if you want to catch more videos of a veggie a veggie mate, um, some of my stand up as well. Go to downundercomedy.com. Uh, we also produce shows in LA for the Australian community, uh, Aussie stand up shows as well. You'll find all that information there as well. Um, my name's Dan Green. This has been Brent Morin, and check out all Brent's stuff. Thanks for coming by, mate.